11021 West Wilshire, three bedrooms, two bath, 1,450 square feet, Crystal Gardens. Priced in foreclosure at 108,400. This house is in a uh, in the end of a cul-de-sac. This is the neighborhood here. It is a uh, waterfront on one of the little Finger Lakes in uh, Avondale area. Crystal Gardens. Two car garage. Built in 2002. It's got a uh, side entry. Has all the window coverings and the light fixtures and all the appliances are in. The walls are in uh, reasonable shape, just a uh, plain white. The carpet uh, looks looks pretty bad. I, I would assume you would replace the carpet. There's a tile floor in the kitchen. It looks in good shape. This is the back patio. You're overlooking the water. Reasonably good sized backyard. This will be the master bed. The first of three bedrooms. Carpet's got some good stains in it. The master overlooks the lake. You can see the lake in the background there. Might be more of a pond to, uh, to see some people's standards, but uh, it's water. There's not much of that in Arizona. the master bath with a uh, double stall shower and tile floor matches the kitchen uh, the walls in here look in reasonable shape we'll need some touch-ups the door's got some marks on it that door looks like it's got a hole in it right there I'll have to fix that and the walls in here have a little bit of stain right there you could probably just touch it up but you may just want to paint the whole thing the blinds are uh, kind of a quality, uh, quality, real thick, nice blind. So this has got uh, three bedrooms, and it's got the little den area right here as well. Kitchen looks in good shape. All the appliances are in place. Nice open living space here with the kitchen. Really made good use of the 1,400 square feet. Here's one of the other bedrooms. Again, the uh, the walls all look in moderate shape. They need touching up and some painting. Carpets, uh, I would just replace the whole house here. The rest of it looks in pretty good shape. There's some markings on the wall here. That's a little touch up wouldn't take care of a small hole there from the doorknob probably. This would be the Two car garage, water heater, garage door opener, everything's here in place. This will be the den. I'm looking back into the living space again. Now we're back to the third bedroom. Here's the second bath, full bath with a tub shower. little damage to the door there. Probably replace a couple of doors and a couple of small holes throughout. Now we're back in the front of the house. This is the front bedroom. Looking out into the front yard. There's my car. So there's some marks on the walls in here. Needs some minor touch up. Uh, surprisingly this house has all the appliances, window coverings, and all of the light fixtures and ceiling fans which is, is quite rare in a foreclosure. Um, just to estimate, I would I would say you need to replace all the carpets, and that would run you about two bucks a square foot installed. So there's about 1,200 feet of carpet. 
Uh, you're looking at about 2500 bucks to replace the whole house with a nice quality carpet. And you have some uh, minor holes in the walls from picture frames and stuff and some paint to do throughout. I would estimate that repair to repair the whole house, including replacing these couple of doors. You're probably looking at in the vicinity. The paint's about a buck a foot, but if you didn't do the whole house and just touched up, you would uh, you're probably looking at about a thousand bucks worth of work there. So really very minor work. I think for about right around three thousand bucks, maybe thirty-five hundred dollars or so, you would uh, you'd be near done with this one. We'll go out and take a peek at the backyard now. Backyard's what's going to make this house. This is uh, what you see the outline here. That was a grass patch. And uh, you could just simply turn the watering spigot on there and put some fertilizer down, and the grass would come back. And uh, there's also plenty of room to install a pool back here. Be a really nice setting overlooking the water. There's the air conditioner. Sometimes people take those, but that's still here. There's the side of the house here. Some nice mature trees in the backyard. There's the lake with a walking path all around it. There's your access to the lake with a gate right there. Small little patio area. And that's it. It's really a good looking house for the price. Priced at 